All right, now that we're all synchronized, can I lock my phone and still record? Yep. All right, so I could lock my phone, that's nice. Now, one of the good advantages of having a lab mic recording away, you know, with like a Zoom player or a Zoom recorder or another external recorder is that you could walk away from the camera and uh, still have good voice. Well, once you synchronize this audio with the video in your editor, you should be good to go. So I should have nice clear audio. No matter where I go in the frame, audio will be clear. And uh, yeah, I noticed that recording directly into the iPhone, audio is amazing. Now this microphone is very sensitive. It picks up all the noise you hear in the paper. I know it it's probably a little annoying, but I'm sorry, I gotta do the test. I gotta see how much noise it picks up. Does it picks up my whooshy sound when I'm moving? Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna try to do like a B-log, vlog kind of thing. All right, so let's do the B-log thing. Bam. Ooh, got some dust there. All right, so now we got the B-log happening. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do next? I'm gonna plug the mic directly into the camera and we'll compare the audio. He came with this little vinyl, kind of like pleather bag, which is pretty thoughtful of them. Now, if you wanna connect, plug this mic into a camera or any other regular recorder, you're gonna need this converter because what I didn't know at the time of purchasing this mic is that the actual port of this mic connects to an iPhone. This is like the three, three pin, I don't know what it's called. So you need a recorder to have a stereo mic input. When I plug this into the camera, it has a big old stick sticking out and then the mic cable drops down. So it's a little ugly, cumbersome, it's not compact, not ideal. But it is what it is. So let's go ahead and go to the camera's audio. I'm gonna stop here. All right, so let's stop. All right, so right now what you're listening is the audio coming from the camera. And I'm at the same distance as before, so you can already see the big difference of why it's so good to have a external recorder. Or maybe even if you're close enough, plug in the mic so let's do that right now now if i get close to the camera it's all right we get some decent audio but let's plug this baby in okay still recording right yep you're still recording good all right we're at 12 decibels so hopefully the audio is coming but as you could see we are actually limited in range when we're gonna plug into the camera now. So that's one con, is the actual port of the mic. You need an adapter to connect to regular recorders, anything. You need that little adapter. So if you lose that thing, yep, you're done for. Another con, and this was a huge con, is I didn't expect this thing to be so huge. Look at this thing, it's huge. It's like a cute little microphone. Hey, testing, testing, one, two. This is not compact, this is not discreet. This really, oh, this is a huge, huge bump sticking out. Now, if you have a sweater or something, you could try to hide it, but this thing is huge. Where can I clip this to hide it? Make it discreet. All right, how about here? Can you tell it's there? Can you tell it's in my neck? Of course you can, it's huge. So if you have a sweater in the winter, you could use a sweater or a suit, a jacket to hide it in the summer. What am I gonna do with this thing? Pow, pow, pow. Here we go, synchronizing. I shouldn't do this. This is crazy. I shouldn't go out with the camera in this weather should i do it oh it's getting wet 
we gotta test out the WR in my SH1. I'm doing it. I'm gonna walk with the camera outside. It's getting wet. Look at this. It's rainy. I'm doing it. And I got the lav mic on so you could hear me good. But this is crazy. I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I doing this? Risking my camera. It's all good though. Fujifilm can take this. Omar did it. So I can do it too. Another advantage is like my port is actually closed so I don't have to worry about my camera getting internal damage because of the port is all sealed so I don't have to plug in any microphone there. Yo guys so I gotta admit I'm having a little bit too much fun shitting out here in the rain too much fun so hopefully my camera will survive again this is a xh1 i'm actually doing a lav mic test but at the same time testing out the weather resistance on this camera sitting with the 23 mil f2 wr lens xh1 we're shooting at 1080p if i shoot 4k it's gonna crop in heavily and affect you know i won't be able to do vlogging all right we are good to go so i just did my first shooting in the rain under the rain it's amazing it's freezing cold though but it was an it's like a strange feeling of bravery and stupidness at the same time you know why go out shooting in the rain i didn't even get any decent shots they were just basically that just test shots in the rain this was my first official shoot in the under the rain it was a success my camera is still recording so it's alive so enough of this cold wet walking now we're on a nice warm car about to head over to zoo so guys if you guys like this lav mic test right now it's, can't even see it but it's down here somewhere then i guess it was pretty good ten dollars ten dollars well spent yeah it was uh, an awesome shot actually you know what why am i turning off the wipers i I'm, i don't have to worry about noise of the dashboard the noise on the windshield with the wipers because the mic is over here that's right pretty cool so as you can see there are a lot of advantages of having a lavalier mic and especially if you pair that with an external recorder like your phone or a zoom recorder but in my case this iphone did an amazing job i was listening to the footage in the office and i was blown away by the quality so only those two cons that i really don't like about this mic is that it's designed to plug in with an iphone you know with the three strips and the size this thing is huge it's just too big i really don't like this right now this is plugged in directly to the xh1 and my xh1 is a minus 15 decibels so that's pretty low for uh, audio input but that's because this mic is pretty loud when connected directly if I adapt it with any cables or extension cord the audio rapidly decreases we're here I gotta go to work so thanks for sticking around to the end if you like the audio quality you were listening to this whole time I really appreciate a thumbs up share it so other people can get a glimpse of what a $10 lav mic can give us 
connected to directly to the camera and also people can get a look at what it sounds like connected directly into an external recorder anyhow that's it for now see you guys on the next one peace